Hiya folks, we'd like to thank Kasori for sponsoring this video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Kasori 3.8 litre light, the Kasori XXL 5.5 litre and also Sharon's favourite, the Jewel Blaze 6.4 litre Sharon. I just know it's a Jewel Blaze. Right, so these are three of the most popular ranges of uh, Kasori air fryers that, that, that are out there at the moment. You may be asking yourself, well, which one could be possibly suitable for you? Well, going from the smallest one first, right up to the largest. The smallest one, as I say, is 3.8 litres. Let's have a closer look at that. So this is it, and it's got, again, for, for such a small air fryer, it's actually got quite a reasonably good size basket. We're gonna be cooking three gammon joints in these today, folks, and we've tried to keep them all the same size, just to give you an indication of what you can cook in them. Uh, this one, as I say, nice simple control panel on the top there. You've also got presets on there for chicken, fries, bacon, steak, and also veggies. You've also got a keep warm function on there as well, and also a preheat function as well. You can independently raise the temperature on this side and also the time on this side and obviously then you've got your play button. You'll only see the uh, illumination of the temperature when you actually put the drawer in, so that's a little safety feature there as well. Now these air fryers, what we've got here, they do work off of uh, the app as well, which you can download from the app store. And uh, that means that you can basically look at these, the temperatures while they're running and check on what the temperatures are and how much time you've got uh, left to run for example. You can't actually start these uh, from the app, you have to physically be here and press the play button. That's a safety feature, I think that's the same with all uh, air fryers as well. So that's the 3.8 litre and that also comes with a 1500 watt element on that one and the temperature range from this is from 75 degrees centigrade right the way up to 230, so ideal for crisping stuff up. Moving on to the next one now, we've got the 5.5 litre XXL, which is probably one of the most popular ones in their range. This one again has a, a very big draw, and it actually has a safety lock there on the handle. Uh, you pull that forward, then you can lift the actual crisper tray out. Ideal for cleaning and also cleaning stuff in the bottom of there as well. Nice big tray. This one you've got a 1700 watt element. Let's put that drawer back in so we can see what's on the uh, front. You've turned the power on. Again, you've got presets there for meat, fish, bacon, chicken, prawns or seafood. You've got a defrost function on this one. You've also got a fries function. You've got a vegetable or broccoli and also a harder root vegetable setting as well as bread and also a bake setting as well. The normal up and down temperatures is done via these uh, plus and minus there with a, a mode change button. So if you were doing temperature, you'd press it once and you can change the temperature and lower it that way and then press it again and you can then alter the same up and down arrows with the time as well. You do have a keep warm function as this one as, as well as a preheat as well. So another popular air fryer this, good size basket. That is a good one. Yeah, ideal if there's uh, like a, a couple of you or as a second air fryer, that would be ideal. This would be ideal for if you're living on your own or you're a student, you don't do a lot of cooking, so you're not too worried about cooking. Or taking on your travels. Or actually taking on your travels Camping as well. And that. Being a low 1500 watt one, it's good for that as well. So moving on to the larger one, which the is the, uh, the one Sharon prefers, and this is the one she uses most of the time. Every day I use this. This is the Kasori so. Jewel Blaze, folks, and this one is a 6.4 litre tray on this one. Very big tray on that one. Again, with the removable crisper tray as well. Cook, you can cook in or on top of the crisper tray, it's entirely up to you. This one has got the dual elements, which is ideal for baking, Sharon. Yes, very So you've good got your, your fan at the top and your, your heating element, and also a, a lower heating element as well, as you can see there. And this one is ideal for cakes and baking or stuff where yeah, you, you need get, to make sure the bottom's cooked. You get a good seven inch, which is a standard cake tin in there, which is very good. Yeah, so just putting that back in, we'll have a little look at the controls on this one. Again, you've got your presets as well, chicken steak, seafood, veggies, fries, and frozen. Apart from your standard air fry setting, you've also got a reheat and a roast function as well. Uh, broil, which in UK basically means a grill setting. In other words, that bottom element won't be coming on when you press the broil function, for example. It's only the top element. You've also got a bake setting as well, and a keep warm setting as well. Independent controls there for the higher and lower the temperature and also the time settings there. And this one has got a 1000 
750 watt elements spread over them two elements. So that's the three air fryers we're going to be playing with today. And one of our most popular air fryer videos was when we done the gammon joint, Sharon. Let's just have a look yeah. what we got here. So we thought it'd be quite a good test for all of these three independent air fryers. If we took some gammon uh, and put this and cook these in each of these air fryers, all using the same time so that we can see if there is any difference where you have to alter your time. Because we get a lot of people say to us, well, I've got this air fryer, what time do I need in that? So we can work out from this which one is which. We're gonna... And that's for that size of meat as well. Yeah, this the, is quite you know, a big chunk yeah. of meat here. So we're going to be putting these on each individual air fryer. We're going to be cooking them upside down to start with. They've got a layer of fat on the top of them, which is your crisp, uh, your, your crackling, which we're going to be making. So the skin's left on. We're not going to do anything to these apart from take them out of the packet, turn them upside down, and then cook them in the air fryer on 180 degrees yep. C, Sharon, yep. for 20 minutes each side, finishing off with the top side so we get that lovely crackling on top. So we're going to prepare these now, get them put in the air fryer, and we'll start the, the cooking, and let's just see how these all perform. Right, so literally just taking these out of the packets, folks, and these have come with a netting on them, which we're actually going to take off. You can cook them with that on, not a problem, but uh, just for the sake of this, we're going to take them off so that we're... Well, you need it for your, off for your crackling, actually. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're not even going to salt these, Sharon, because no. I think this is salted ham yeah. anyway, isn't it? Gammon is quite salty, isn't it? So yeah, it so normally you would anything. salt your crackling separately. So I'll open that for you, Sharon. This is the small one. Now, what we've decided to do here, because of the height of this joint that we've got here, we're going to take the crisper tray out on this one and we're going to put that straight in. So Sharon's going to put that in there. Upside, upside down. Upside down. And I'll plonk that in because her hands have uh, been contaminated. And we'll just leave that there. We'll do that to the rest of them. And uh, then we'll come back to you and switch them all on at the same time, Sharon. Right, okay, so all the meats are now in, folks. And we've set them all at 180 degrees at 20 minutes there, as you can see like that. We've just used in the basic air fryer settings, yeah. so we've not used no special baking settings or whatever. No. And Sharon's just going to press the, the uh, play button or the start button on each. And there we go. All cooking now. Right, so we're going to come in at 20 minutes and turn them over and then do it for another 20 minutes. We'll bring you back for that. We're not going to talk now because these things are quite noisy. We've got three on the go here. So we see you in 20 minutes time when we turn these over. Right, just counting down folks. This one's just come to its first 20 minutes, so we'll have a look at this one first. As you can see, nicely crisped up there. We're just gonna flip that over, that's all we're going to do folks. Just gonna flip it over. We're not gonna put any salt on it because we believe there'd be enough salt in there. And Sharon's just gonna set that one up again at 180 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. And then play. Next one along, this was just finished. Mmm, that looks nice, doesn't it? That one seems to have crisped up a little bit more, I think, maybe. But we'll just, again, just turn that over. These ones have got the crisper tray left in them, folks, so that could be the reason. <music> 180 for 20 minutes, and play on that one. And the final one is the dual blaze. Again, that looks to have more color on it as well. Mm. Maybe the crisper tray does play a part in the um, overall cooking, folks. Again, that goes straight back in as well. And again, 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Off we go. Right, so that's it for another 20 minutes, folks. We'll come back and hopefully we'll have some lovely gammon, Sharon. Yes, it's nice and smelly around here and hot. Okay, folks, so we've actually didn't put these on for an extra 20 minutes. We did check them, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah. And they wasn't done, was they? No. So we, because of the size of joints, we've put them on for an extra 10 minutes. So on the skin side upside, these have all had 30 minutes. So we haven't looked since then. Right, so let's take a look at this first one. Now, let's have a little look. It appears to have... Yeah, it could probably do with a little yeah. bit more crisping up. So what we can do with this is to put that back in because we've got the extra high temperature on this and we'll just spin it round and put that back in, shall? Again, this could be no crisper tray in there and we'll put that on. We'll whack the temperature up to say 225 for only about three, four minutes. Say four minutes, yeah? yeah. And then press play. So while we're leaving that one on to do its stuff, 
We'll look at the uh, Kasori 5.5 XXL. Oh, hello, look at that. Oh, that's great. Get that one out, shall I? Dig that one out. Let's put that on the uh, on the board there. And we're going up to... 74? Yeah, 74, 75 degrees centigrade. So we're happy with that. Now don't forget, if the temperature wasn't up to temperature, shall Put it back in. Put it back in because it, each cut of meat is basically different. But, but you could cut, take that off and put it back in. Yeah, of course you could. To perfection for you. Right, let's get the uh, dual blaze one out. Again, that was the largest piece of meat we had, shall weren't yeah. they? So you're going to hook that one out. Yep. There we go, put that on there. And let's have a look how juicy they are, folks. Look, the juice is coming out of them, look. So let's have a little look at this one. There we go. So that one's going up over, going to go over 75? Yeah, that's over 75. So the crackling, again, on this one is absolutely perfect. Perfect. So we'll give that one an extra three minutes. Uh, as I say, probably because we've left the crisper tray out, folks. So what we could have done is cut the bottom off the meat shell and lowered it to below the um, yeah. the element line. Because all these air fries, folks, just to let you know as well, there is basically an, an, an element line. On this one, for example, you've got a line there denoting don't put food above that. On the dual blaze, where is it? There yeah. we go. You've got a maximum fill line that's it, the top of that, isn't it? Yeah, the top of that, I think. So there is a maximum fill line, which you don't want to go above because you'll hit the element up there and that won't be any good for no. you at all because that will start smoking and whatever. Right, so we've got two minutes to go on this one. Let's wait until we've done that and we'll have a look at this one. Here we go, folks. Up at 2.30, we're going down for the last uh, few seconds now. And hopefully it's just enough to cook that crackling a little bit more on the top. Oh, cool, that's it. Cool, look at that one, Shell. Wow. Look at that, folks. That's how you get it in a blinking <laughs> a carver or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get that bit out, Shell. See what difference that little three or four minutes made, folks, on that crackling there, on this little um, 3.8 litre Kasori. Let's just put that back in there. And again, them juices, folks, don't waste them. Put them in a little ramekin, and you can cook with that. Yeah. They call that bacon grease, Sharon, don't they, the Americans? Is that, is that yeah. what they call it? Yeah. Now, just look at that, folks. Look at the difference that extra heat has done to that crackling. Both are all, all are done, but that, that really sort of blown up, isn't it? Mm. Right, shall we try and get that crackling off now, shall we? Yeah. Let's have a little go, folks. You're gonna just cut it off. Again, we just literally want the, uh, the meat, the uh, crackling, and not the meat underneath it or the layer of fat underneath it. It should lift off pretty easily, shall we, shouldn't it? Yeah. There we go, look, just slide the knife underneath it. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go, look at that. Look, I'll get it, Sharon, let go. Oh, take that bit there. Look at that, oh, Sharon, look at that crackling. That's the dual blaze crackling, folks, look. So we'll just leave that to the side there for the minute. We'll get this one off of the 5.5 uh, litre Kasori. Should be pretty similar, to be honest with you. That's it, that's it, go on, that's it, I'll take it off. It is hot, Sharon. Oh, look at that, it comes away lovely, and that fat, folks, that can render down as well. You could put that back in if you wanted to as yeah, well. Yeah, if you weren't happy with... But look at that, that two fun. fantastic pieces of crackling. Let's get that third one off, shall we? Get right underneath it. Now this one is really blown up nicely. Get the knife under a bit. Oh, cool, look at that. Still bubbling underneath, oh, look. Look. Still... look at that, it's still under, that extra temperature on that little um, 3.8 litre one is made all the difference. Look at that. And you could have turned that up on any of them as well, but yeah. we didn't need Yeah, to. we turned it up to 230 on that, I think, didn't we? But these yeah. go up to 200 and 205 yeah. degrees, respectively. Right, we'll just let them cool down for a minute, shall we? We'll cut a couple of slices, and then we'll give them a taste. Right, OK, let's just spin this round, folks. Let's just cut a couple of slices. Cool, look, come near us, yeah? Come see the juices we'll that are coming out of that, that gammon, look. Oh, look. Look at that. Cut another one, look. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's that one. Come over to this one, shall we? Right, this again is the 5.5, folks. So let's have a little go with that. Oh, look. It's cut, isn't it? It's perfection, shall we, to be honest with you? It does. It, look at it that. keeps it all moist and all the flavours. It really does. Though. And the fi final one is the uh, dual blaze. Let's just cut a couple of slices of that off as well. As I say, depending on the size of your gammon joint you've put in, or any type of meat, folks, 
will depend on your timings. Like us, you might have to alter your times accordingly like we did. We added an extra 10 minutes on and on that little Kasori, we upped the temperature just for three minutes and look what it done to that crackling. So it was fantastic. Four minutes, love. Hey? Four, was it four minutes? minutes? Four okay, minutes, four yeah. minutes. Right, let's have a little taste, shall we? Right, so first of all, Sharon, there's the uh, 3.8 litre Kasori. Let's have a little go at that. Mmm. No need to salt that Sharon, is there? No. Well salted, folks. Mmm. Superb piece of gammon. Let's try a bit of this crackling. <laughs> did you hear that, Sharon? I did, I knew you did. Come on, shall we go out together? Hold on, wait there. Right, ready? Go. Oh! <laughs> oh, Darren. You can't beat that, folk. Oh. Nothing wrong with that, baby. I'll tell you. That little 3.8 litre. Merlin, get away. You've got that dog down at our feet. He's heard something. It's smelled right. something, I should think. Right, let's try the 5.5 uh, litre Kasori. Mmm. Again, perfect. Mm. Can't grumble at that. Let's have a go at that crackling. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'll give you the big bit this time, baby. Ready? Oh my God. At that temperature, it's a firmer crackling. That one at a higher temp is more aerated. Mm. If you prefer that, it's entirely up to you. Both are fantastic cracklings, folks. And we'll just try this dual blaze gammon first. Lovely. Oh, you can't distinguish between the two cookings. No. Or the three cookings, rather. Crackling time. Oh. There you go, baby. I've got a small bit this time, look. I'm going in large. Ready? Oh. Crackling in heaven. Mmm. Well, I hope this can help you make a decision, folks. You can basically cook the same quantity of meat in each of these three air fries. This one had an extra five minutes in it, and we had to turn the temperature up at the end. These two stayed on their normal settings, and all I can say is, depending on what you use them for, depends on what air fryer you will probably choose. Now, Kasori have been kind enough to give us a discount code, wait there. These codes are for prime day folks, so you've got to get these pretty quick. The 3.8 litre normally retails at £99 on Amazon. Kasori is selling it for £80.74. That is a 19% discount on Amazon in the links below this video, That's folks. Prime day. Prime day only. The 5.5 litre normally sells for £109.99 on Amazon. The prime day deal from the link below is £79.99, which is a 27 percent discount. It's actually cheaper than the small one. Yeah, it's actually cheaper than that one. So that's great value, that one. That's the 5.5 litre XXL. And if you are on your own, it's not too big. Don't think, oh, that's too big. It's not. Or if you're after yeah. a second air fryer, yeah. this is the time yeah. to get them. Yeah. The Jewel Blaze, which is the, the daddy of the, uh, the the flagship, that's the uh, 6.4 litres one. That retails at £179.99 normally. They're doing it on Amazon for £139.99, which again, a fantastic 22% discount. All these offers here are in the links below, folks, just below this video in the video description for Prime Day only. So you just see what we've done here. These things, we've got a host of videos on the air fries. air fryers. So do check out our other videos. Do have a little binge watch of them and have a little look, but do take advantage of the links below for Prime Day and on Amazon. And I will Amazon. say also, Two air fryers is better than one when you've got a family because yeah. you, yeah. you don't need your oven at all if no. you've got two. Since we've had more than one air fryer in the house, yeah. we don't use the, the main oven anymore as a warming oven. We use the keep warm functions on these air fryers 
to uh, keep things warm. And there's no more cleaning out them horrible ovens anymore. And bending down, down Sharon, to pick stuff out yeah. of a hot oven. Hot, so you're doing it all at workshop yeah. level. So air fries definitely are the way to go. We're moving into a different cooking era, so to speak, yeah. where people like to do stuff on the workshop, on the counter, rather than mm. bend down to a big old oven. Anyway, thank you very much, folks. Thank you again for Kasori for sponsoring this video and bringing it, enabling us to bring these discounts to you. And we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye. Baby, you can have one, I'll have the rest of it. Crackling heaven, folks. Oh, shower. Um, what one do you prefer? Do you like the, the older? I've got no preference for this, yeah. Mmm.